Hi, my name is Kieran Slaughter. I'm a field applications engineer at Renesas Electronics. I'd like to show you a coding development tool that can help you get started programming with Renesas RL78 microcontrollers within 30 minutes. Application leading tool known as Applelet can generate peripheral initialization and driver code using a simple menu-driven PC user interface. Without reference to the detailed microcontroller hardware specifications, a new user of RL78 can quickly generate C source code to configure the microcontroller's on-chip peripherals. Applelet then generates a project which can readily be used within either Renesas e squared Studio IDE or IAR's embedded workbench. After adding your own code, changes can easily be made to the peripheral configuration and will be incorporated within the existing project. To demonstrate use of Applelet, we will generate a simple project targeting the Renesas Promotional Board, or RPB, for RL78G14. This low-cost evaluation kit includes an RL78G14 microcontroller, some push-button switches, LEDs and a variable resistor, and a USB to serial on-chip debug interface. First of all, we will set up a timer to generate a periodic interrupt and flash an LED in the interrupt service routine. Start Applelet, then create a new project from the file menu. Next, select the target microcontroller part number from the list. Then choose the target C compiler. Here we are going to use the GCC compiler and Renesas e -square Studio IDE as the debug environment. Give the project a suitable name and locate it on your PC hard drive somewhere you'll remember and can find it later. We can now start to configure the initial state of the microcontroller. On the RL78, it is possible to move some of the peripheral I.O. functions to different ports, depending on your application requirements. This is done by setting the value in the peripheral I.O. redirection registers. In our example, we will use the default settings. This is the only thing within an Applelet project that cannot be changed later. Next, we can configure the various clocks available on the RL78. In this example, we will use the high-speed on-chip oscillator to generate a 32 MHz CPU clock, which is in fact the default. We intend to download and debug the code on the RPB, so we need to enable the on-chip debug function. We can leave the rest of the settings in this peripheral module called Clock Generator unchanged. Moving on to the Port Peripheral module, we will configure the port pin used to control the user LED as an output. We can also set the initial state high so that the LED will be turned off. We can now set up a timer to generate the periodic interrupt. Select the Timer Peripheral module and configure the Timer Array Unit, or TAU, Channel 0, as an interval timer. You can see that many other TAU modes of operation can be set up within Applelet. Now we can set up the period of the timer interval, configure it to generate an interrupt, and select the interrupt priority. Finally, for this simple example, we need to select the Watchdog Timer peripheral module and switch it off, as we want our code to run continuously without the need to service the Watchdog. Before we generate the project, we can preview the code for each of the peripheral functions we have configured. Let's now generate the code and move on to the next stage. 
I will leave Applelet running in the background and open the Renaissance e Squared Studio integrated development environment. Based on the popular Eclipse standard, e Squared Studio allows easy project management, build control and debugging of Renaissance microcontrollers. If our workspace folder is in the same location as the Applelet generated code, we can easily make changes to the peripheral configuration. I will demonstrate this in a few moments. We can now import the project generated by Applelet by selecting that option from the file menu. Browse to the location you chose for your Applelet project before clicking Finish. Note that you should not select the Copy Projects into Workspace option as we have already chosen to locate the project in the e Squared Studio workspace. You can now view the C source files generated by Applelet by selecting them from the Project Explorer view. Before we go further, we should change the build configuration to Hardware Debug so that a debug file is generated when the project is built. The default build configuration after importing a project from Applelet is release. Let's have a closer look at the code that has been generated. You can see there are C source files for each of the peripherals we configured in Applelet, as well as some additional files to handle startup and the interrupt vectors. In the file c underscore cg underscore timer dot c, there is a function that initialises the timer array unit channel 0 as the interval timer. There are also functions to start and stop the timer. The function to initialise the timer, r underscore tau0 underscore create, is called by the system init function, which in turn is called by the hardware setup function. Hardware setup is called by the C startup code within the assembler file r underscore reset underscore prog dot asm before main is called. So the timer has been initialized, but we need to start it running. In r underscore main underscore user init, we can add a call to the function to start the timer. The interrupts are then enabled, so we just need to insert the code in the timer interrupt service routine to toggle the pin connected to the LED. We can now build the project. This can take some time for the first build of a project as the standard libraries are compiled. To start debugging, we need to create a new debug configuration selecting E1 for RL78 and choosing the correct device. Once we have connected to the RPB successfully, we can step through the code set breakpoints and run the code.
Now we have the code running as we planned, we can go back into Applelet and change the configuration. For example, we can reduce the interval of the periodic interrupt to increase the frequency of the flashing LED. After generating the code again and switching back to e -square Studio, changes in the source files are automatically detected and the new source files are loaded into the project. However, user code that has already been added is retained as long as it has been placed between the guideline comments. If we build the project again and run the code, we can quickly check the changes we have made to the timer configuration. We hope you have found this video a useful introduction to the Applelet code generation tool for RL78 and take some time to explore the many other powerful capabilities it offers. Versions of Applelet are available for all other members of the RL78 microcontroller family. For more information, visit the Renesas Electronics website at www.renesas.eu/rl78.